Within the concrete walls and iron bars, a notorious figure lay in wait, plotting his escape with an unconventional twist. Little did the guards know that their tightly controlled world was about to be turned upside down by a man willing to go to extreme lengths for freedom. In this video, prepare to be captivated as the method employee will defy all logic, challenging your every assumption and leaving you yearning for answers until the very last minute. Richard Lee McNair, a notorious convicted killer, has become more well known for his extraordinary ability to escape from jail than for the activities that led to his incarceration than for the crimes that led to his arrest in the first place. The fact that McNair has broken out of jail three times in a row demonstrates his prowess and capability in the criminal world. McNair was born on December 19, 1958, in the state of Oklahoma, and even at a young age, it was clear to others that he had an exceptional degree of intellect. However, on November 17, 1987, he broke into a grain storage facility in Nina, North Dakota, and this marked the beginning of a downhill spiral in his life. This event took place in North Dakota. He shot and murdered a truck driver named Jerome Thies during the course of the burglary, in addition to wounding another individual. Following that, a jury convicted McNair guilty of first-degree murder, attempted murder and burglary, and they handed him a sentence of life in prison with no chance of parole. When McNair was still in the middle of spending his first term in jail, he started making his unprecedented efforts to flee the facility. In February of 1988, when he was being held at the police station in Nina, he was able to break free from his shackles by using lip balm as a lubricant. This allowed him to escape from the detention center. McNair gave the officers who were pursuing him on foot a run for their money as they chased him on foot, but he was ultimately arrested after sustaining injuries from a fall that he took. In October of 1992, when McNair was doing time at the North Dakota State Penitentiary, he planned and executed his second attempt to flee the facility. The fact that he had been arrested in the past did not seem to bother him in the least. It was necessary for him and two other convicts to crawl through a ventilation duct in order to make their getaway. In spite of the fact that he had evaded capture for a few months, he was ultimately hauled into jail in the state of Nebraska in the month of July 1993. After being transferred to a federal maximum security prison in the state of Louisiana, McNair came up with one of the most audacious escape plans he could think of on April 5, 2006, and he was successful in carrying it out. He was able to construct an escape pod for himself, complete with a breathing tube, by using the skills he had acquired while working as a mailbag repairman. After then, he smuggled the pod out of the premises of the prison by concealing it behind a pile of mailbags and walked away without getting caught. McNair's brazenness reached its zenith when not long after his escape, he came face to face with a law enforcement officer who had caused to assume he was an escaped convict. McNair's encounter with this official was the moment when his brazenness reached its pinnacle. McNair utilized a number of aliases to deceive the police into believing that he was a law-abiding jogger, and he also engaged the officer in nice conversation in order to do this. McNair's achievement was directly attributable to his deft handling of the situation. He was allowed to go free by the police for whatever reason that nobody can figure out. McNair was ultimately apprehended by the Royal Canadian Mounted Police on October 24, 2007 in the city of Campbellton, which is located in the province of New Brunswick. McNair had been on the run for close to a year and a half at the time of his apprehension. He was now operating a vehicle that had been illegally taken from another person. McNair made one more attempt to elude capture as he was in the process of being brought into jail, but he was swiftly apprehended. Richard Lee McNair is now being incarcerated in the Supermax prison in Florence, Colorado, together with other notorious criminals such as Jehokart Sarnave, Ted Kaczynski, and Richard Reed. Richard Lee McNair was convicted of the murder of a police officer in 1983. Despite the fact that McNair participated in criminal activities, his ability to avoid being arrested on several occasions has ensured that his place in the annals of prison escape folklore will remain secure.